Hey there, I'm Alan Matthews from Classical Guitar Shed, and in this video we're going to be talking about the Bach Bure from the E minor Lute Suite. This is such a great piece. Stick around to the end of this video and listen to the whole thing. It's about a minute long, a little bit over, and this is a preview of the full course that I've created on this piece. So in this, let's take a look at this piece and just see what's in store for it. So this is the beret, one music, one page of music here, um, but there's a ton going on. So we are in the key of E minor, as you might suspect it being the key of E minor. And the basic scheme of the piece is that we have this melody going along on the top and then this bass line going on on the bottom. And that's the beauty of this piece. Is that you have these two things going on. And that's, that's the character of the piece. And then, but what that creates is all sorts of thorny problems in the left hand and also some problems in the right hand as well. I like to play the bass line very uh, staccato, very short and uh, short and brusque. But you don't have to, and most people don't. So you can play it both ways. You can play it smooth and connected, or you can play it short and separated. And we talk about that in the course of the techniques of doing that. So the way that this course is laid out is that we go through first and talk about the rhythm and some basic uh, rules, uh, kind of rules of the game. And then we go and we split this into small sections. And that's really the only way to learn anyway. Um, is, to, is to split your work into small sections. So we take, and that's, if you can see, that's these little numbers right here. The, we take these and we look at just that section. And the practice sections actually are even smaller than that. They just are smaller than, um, you can practice them even smaller sections than that. But for the sake of the course, we take them and just look at just that. And so then we look at the different left handing, the left hand issues and how to get around those, how to make them really nice and, uh, smooth connected, reducing the tension and the strain on the hand so that it can be light and sprightly. We look at that. We look at the right hand and the fingerings on, on that and what, uh, how to think about the right hand, some basic rules we, we generally observe in the right hand with this as well. And this is uh, all the, everything you need is included in the course materials, including if you're into it, in, including the tab as well. So if you're a tab reader, then you can, um, you can do this as well. Or if once it goes up into the upper positions, then you can look at that as well. So we, in the course proper, we use the music, but the tab is included and you can, um, you can find everything that you need there as well. So we also go into a large bit of phrasing tips on this as well. Different ways, because we take it in layers with this. This is a really interesting piece of music in that some of the, the normal phrasing things is the louds and softs and, and swells and fades. Some of that doesn't work as well. Some of the, the usual things don't work as well. So we talk about different ways of doing things, uh, using volume and using bringing out certain things, leading to certain beats, things like that. So to make the music more interesting, we go really deep into that and we take it in in different steps, different layers. Instead of just play this note loud, play this note soft, it's do this and it, look at the way that this goes on and then this next thing and then this next thing. And so after you've done a few exercises going through, then you have a deeper understanding of the music and then you can nudge things in different ways and it just makes it that much more interesting to listen to. So uh, there's a lot of talk on phrasing, but the way that it's laid out is if you are not to that point and you're playing yet, then we can you can ignore it because it's in separate videos. We talk about, we go through the sections just technically as far as what are the hands doing, and then we go through and talk about uh, how are we going to actually shape this and make it into a beautiful piece of music instead of just a technical exercise that the computer could play much cleaner and faster than we could ever. So. Stick around and listen to the full recording of it. And if you have any questions, you can just email me. You can find all the information below. And have fun. Hope you enjoy it. Bye.